We are now on page 56 of your cursive practice book. C looks just like a regular C. The difference is it's a little bit slanted. Again, regular writing is more up and down static hard strokes. Cursive is more fluid, slanted. So we want to kind of slant or push over your C just a little bit and it does go to the next letter. So just practice starting a down, going around, going around, just get that curve going. And then you can do the next line. I'm gonna go straight to this one down here. So we're gonna start a little down, hit the top baseline, bottom baseline, up to your next letter. And retrace, up, curve. And remember you have to give like that little um, hill almost so that if you go, because if you were going to go D and then up and like that, this all of a sudden looks like an I and a J. So for a Y, you need to make sure to give that little hill. Keep tracing, cursive training wheels, trace. Give that R a slant, next letter, capital C, stop, retrace, up, retrace, down, around, hill, down, loop, and go back and cross your I. You can practice on your own after you do those training wheels and have some grit. I have been practicing cursive a long time and mine still doesn't always look perfect because there is no such thing as perfect. It's constantly changing. So just give yourself some grace and remember this is a good practice of grit. This is the first time we're doing it this way. And then up and make sure, keep going. Give it that hill, go back and cross. And then start down here, remember the O. So the O goes stop, back, then hook that R. You don't wanna go all the way around like that because it's going to get pretty messy and look interesting. Remember the O stops. Trace, 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 trace. Have fun.